Welcome to the Chapel of Grandview University and the preaching ministry of Luther Memorial Church. Greetings on this Thanksgiving Day. For many of us, this is not the Thanksgiving that we want. Many of us are separated from our loved ones. We're alone. We're not having the day that we planned on or hoped for. I know that. You know that. But it's important on this Thanksgiving Day to pray. You know, it's easy to praise God and to be thankful when things are good. When things are really good, we tend to forget God, if you're like me, and we just don't even thank God when it's really good. But when it's bad or when it's hard, when it's difficult, those are the times when we need to pray. Those are the times we need to thank God. And so let us do that. Let us together find the strength to give thanks on this day. And so our call to worship comes from the Psalms. Please read responsibly the Psalms. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. God blesses us with gifts of love, with food and clothing, home and family. God protects us in times of danger and guards us from every evil. God calls us into relationship with him and forms us into one holy people. Therefore, shall we offer thanks and praise to the Lord our God. O Lord our God, we will give thanks to you forever. of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. A reading from Lamentations 3. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. Gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. It's a time when we gather and we gather together with family and friends and loved ones. We eat lots of food. We watch football. I love Thanksgiving and I know you love Thanksgiving. And that's what makes it so hard this year. And yet, when we think about Thanksgiving, I can't help but think of growing up. And as much as I loved Thanksgiving, I loved all parts of it, there's one thing I hated. The one thing I hated was this. My family would have the table filled with food, and it was the best food ever. 
and is ready time to have a prayer, we'd say a prayer and eat, great. But every once in a while, one of my aunts would say, hey, let's go around and give thanks. And that was the worst. I mean, we were all ready to eat, and you could just see, like, all my uncles go, oh, not this again. And I was worse. I wanted to eat. And then we had to go around and say, like, oh, I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for this or that. I'd always say, I'm thankful for the deviled eggs I'm going to eat, which I stood right next to. I mean, that was the worst. And yet, what I wouldn't give... <laughs> To be in that place. Well, I wouldn't give to be surrounded by some of the people who are now with the Lord. Well, I wouldn't give to give thanks on that day. In our reading from Psalm, or in our reading from Lamentations 3, we hear these words My soul is bereft of peace. I've forgotten what happiness is. The writer is in a bad place. He's forgotten what happiness is. And I think there's many things that we've forgotten, haven't we? We know these words deeply. We've forgotten what it feels like to, to give a hug. We've forgotten what it feels like to have a handshake. We've forgotten what it's like to eat in a restaurant and not be afraid. We've forgotten what it's like to be near people or to walk through a, a supermarket without a mask. We've forgotten what it's like to be in a stadium filled with screaming fans or a concert filled with, with streaming fans or a movie theater filled with people laughing over some you know, comedic genius of a film. We've forgotten these things. Throughout history, God's people, they've suffered and they've forgotten as well. They've known hardship. Abraham and Sarah had to wait decades before the Lord finally gave them a son. Israel was in bondage to Egypt for 400 years. A generation perished in the wilderness before their next generation could enter the promised land. And the nation of Israel experienced exile away from their homes. And during such times, and this is one of those times, it's easy to forget what happiness is. To be a follower of Jesus doesn't mean that, that you'll always be happy. To be a follower of Jesus means that there are times when you will forget what happiness is. And yet during these times, when it's easy to forget what happiness is, God's people will always remember one thing. And this is how they endure. The one thing that they remember is this. And it's said in verse 21. But this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. Now that key word is God's steadfast love. That's hased. That's God's covenant love. It's the love that Ruth showed Naomi. It's the love that God shows his people. It's the love that says, when you fall down, I will pick you up. When you lay down low, I'll lay down low with you. When you're suffering, I'll suffer. When you forget, I'll be there holding you. It's the love that says, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. I will never forsake you. Yes, there might be a season right now where you don't, are not happy, where you've forgotten what happiness is, but God says, I will not forget you. And so you do not forget me. Because I've made a promise to you. And I will deliver you. And I will get you through this. And that's how you can have hope. Even in a day like this. Friends, today is Thanksgiving. And it's easy to forget what happiness is. But don't forget God's love for you. A love that keeps you. A love that sent Jesus Christ to die for you a love that will hold you this day and forever. 
Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love, his hesed, endures forever. And because it endures forever, you will endure forever. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Lord God, Heavenly Father, it's out of your fatherly divine goodness and mercy that you've created us. All that we are and all that we have is a gift from your hand. On this Thanksgiving Day, we raise the following petitions to you. We praise you for grateful hearts that help us remember the good gifts you shower upon us. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. We praise you for the forgiveness of sins that you purchased and won for us in the death of your Son. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. We praise you for your church, your word, holy baptism, and the Lord's Supper. Without these gifts, we would not know of your love. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. We praise you for our vocations. Through them, your creative work goes forward to benefit us and our neighbors. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. During this pandemic, we praise you for the medical community and all who put themselves in harm's way to serve their neighbor. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And in a time when we are polarized politically, we still praise you for those who serve the common good. Watch over them, our leaders, and protect them. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. In addition, what more can we say? We have but scratched the surface of your provision. Lord, we praise you for marriage, children, home, and work. We praise you that you sustain us in our suffering during times of unemployment, strife in the home, and during moments of loneliness, unbelief, health problems, and even death. Lord, in all these things, you've made us more than conquerors through Jesus Christ our Lord. So let us give thanks to the Lord, for you are good. Your steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are free in Christ. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.